This week we're going to alter our first page, making it look more attractive, and we're also going to create a second page that links to our first page. Let's get started. First thing I'd like you to do is open last week's page 1 item in Notepad, and you're going to make a slight adjustment to its title. So you'll do Save As, and after the 1, I'd like you to make that a 1B and then all files and it should read your last name underscore page 1b dot html and I'm saving mine to my desktop where you save yours is up to you. I'd like you to find the opening body tag and that's at the top of your page or near the top of your page and you're going to click just after the word body and enter b G C O L O R. That stands for background color. Add an equal sign and quote pound C C F F C C quote. So what you're telling the computer is to make the background color that number, that six digit number. And the pound sign and the quotes are important for it to work. If when you pull your page up. If it doesn't, you'll want to check those items first. Let's go ahead and see how it looks in our web page. First we have to save our changes. Save as. Change my text to an all files. Verify my title or my file name. And save. Then I can open a web browser window. Migrate to where I've saved the file. And there is my file. There are lots of different colors that you can choose from for your background color. I gave you a link in Blackboard to this website. And as you highlight and hover over the different areas, you can see the codes change. And you'll want to select the code in the Web Smart area. But there's lots of different options to choose from. All I ask is that you make the page you design readable. Black on black, as an example, wouldn't work for me. Next, we're going to add an image to the page. And in this case, we're going to add a CSI logo. So the first step that you'll want is to open the web browser. And I'd like you to go to Google and click on Images. I'm going to type in College of Southern Idaho. I would like you to choose one of the logos. and right click. At the bottom of your options is an entry called properties. I'd like you to click on that and a window will open with a URL. You'll want to copy the entire URL. So highlight it from beginning to end. Make sure that you got that HTTP at the beginning. Highlight it all the way to the end and do control C for copy. Then between your paragraph and your body. Let's add another line so that we can see this easily. I would like you to enter a bracket IMG SRC for image source equals quote space quote slash closing bracket. In between the quotes, you're going to do Control V and it'll paste the entire link that you just created. This can be a little awkward if you grab something that has a very long URL. So you'll want to go to Format, Word Wrap and that way it'll be easy for you to see. Well now you've added a background color and an image. It's already more interesting. Let's change that image and add an extra layer to it by making it a link. So we'll give people the option that if they click on that link they'll go to the CSI website. In order to do this we're going to add a little bit more code and that's an opening bracket. In fact let's add it on another line. Opening bracket A space H R E F equals quote, space, quote, closing bracket. And in between these quotes we're going to do HTTP 
www.csi.edu. And then at the end of our image, we're going to type a closing A. So let's take a quick look at what this is telling us. This is the link, this is the starting link to where we're going to go. So our hyperlink reference is http colon slash slash www.csi.edu and it's wrapping around this image source that starts here and stops here. So the link is wrapped around it so it's here to here. The last thing that we're going to do to our first web page is we're going to add a link to our second page. I'm going to choose one of the hobbies that I enjoy. In this case I'm going to choose saltwater fish and I'm going to make it a link to my second page. We already know how to create a hyperlink because that's this information here. So I'm going to highlight it and copy it and I'm going to put it inside my line item and my closing A is before the end of my line item. I'm going to change my URL to bagent underscore page 2 dot html. So let's take a look at this line. This is still a line item so it has an opening and closing line item bracket and it's wrapped around saltwater fish. I have my hyperlink information and my closing hyperlink information. Let's take a look at this finished site. We'll update our changes by saving them. Save as, all files, save, file, open, browse, 1B. Now we have a link to our second page and we can see the second page information at the bottom of the screen and we can see that our CSI logo is a link because it changes to the hand. We can also see the address of the link at the bottom of the screen. Once you've verified that your items are working correctly, go ahead and save that page and then you'll be ready to work on page 2. I didn't give you coded instructions for page 2 because you'll design that according to your own personal preferences. But let's go ahead and go through it as if I were creating it for me and I would focus on saltwater fish because that is the item that I chose to showcasing in my page 2. So I've got all of my changes in place and I'm going to save this now as page 2.html and I'm going to change the word first in my title to hobby because it's not my first page it's my hobby focus page and I'm not sure what color but let's go ahead and try ccddcc see what that looks like and I'm going to change my name to saltwater fish. I'm not requiring you to start from scratch. You're welcome to copy your page 1B into your page 2 and just make some minor changes and it still gives you the idea of how a web page is designed. Let's see, three saltwater fish I like, angel fish, of course clown fish, swimming, 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 and let's do damsels, and three cool websites for saltwater fish. And I would say, and I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to replace. See, it doesn't have to be a huge amount of work. Saltwaterfish.com and then I can replace this with www 
saltwaterfish.com and for my next one www.liveaquaria.com and I'm just going to copy this into here dot a q u a c o n so that's done and then I can go into images and I can Right-click, Properties, Highlight, and paste it in here. Format Word Wrap so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to make that linked to saltwaterfish.com. And that should be it. My site should be all set. Let's take a look. File, Save As. And I know it says page 2, so I'm good to go. Bring up the web browse page. And I want to go page 2. And there I am and my links are working, and my image is up, and life is good. Then I would turn in my page 1B and my page 2 for grading. Mm -hmm.